Hey, hey, hey. So let us just recap real quick before we jump into this new section about how has God revealed himself to us and to people who lived before us. So let me just recap. In the first section, we asked the question, is God there? And we um, answered that question in the first section. So if you have not seen it, go check out the first few videos about um, the question, is God there? And what does he you know, allow suffering and pain in this world? Why does he allow chaos as well? Sometimes it seems like he allows chaos. And how can you get to know him? Is God there? Is one of the first questions we tackled. And then in the second section, we started to explore why is God so hard to find? Like why is he so difficult? Why is, is God hiding? Or are we hiding? Are we looking for the right true God? Or are we looking for gods that, that fit into our box, our imagination, our checklist, right? Uh, we try to put God in our boxes and... And it doesn't really work, and we find that out. And also, maybe you're looking for the wrong God in the wrong place. Or maybe you're afraid of God, and that's why you're hiding or running away from Him. Um, so yeah, check those out in the second section. And now, in this next area, uh, this next section, we're going to be looking at how God reveals Himself to us. And hopefully, it gives us a better idea of who God is. And so let's jump in. I want to start off by saying that God has made himself um, as, as, uh, as clear as possible, right? Um, for one, he has sent his son Jesus into the world. And if you read the Gospels, the, the first four books of the Bible, um, I mean, sorry, the first four, five, first four books of the New Testament, which are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you would get to know Jesus. And by looking at Jesus, Jesus actually said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So he's like an example of what the Father is like. So definitely, you know, I hope that you will read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And maybe we'll do that together later on in one of uh, in one of my future series. But I believe that God has made himself clear and revealed himself to us in a pretty, you know, clear way. I mean, um, because well, most of us did not live when Jesus was around, when he came about 2,000 plus years ago, we have it written down, a written record and uh, eyewitness accounts about how he was, what he said, what he did. Too bad we didn't have video back then, and um, we only have uh, records of what people wrote about him, what people said about him, what people thought about him, what people felt about Jesus. So, besides that, you know, um, we have creation. Look at how the world. Uh, is made and we, like we talked about before is God there? God is there. He made the world. He made the heavens and the earth and everything in heaven and earth and then he made man as uh, as in his own image. Animals are not in God's image. Humans, mankind, men and women, we are in God's image and so Jesus, you know, is God uh, in the flesh. God sent his son, Jesus, to come into the world. So he represented God, the Father. And basically God was taking human form. So we've seen God through his son. We've seen God through his, what he has done in the creation, right? And so God has really, really tried very, very hard to reveal himself to the world. He has also left us with the Bible, which is the Word of God, and also many, many uh, historical events around the world, around uh, different timelines. He has revealed himself to us uh, in, in 
in song and in, in writings in books in his son Jesus in creation and many other ways so those are the few main ones I want to talk about in this section how God reveals himself to us and we're going to jump in very soon uh, into like many many examples of how God has revealed himself to us um, so I just want this to kind of like be a, uh, a, a springboard to the rest of the section and I want to ask you to put it in the comments put in the comments your answer to this how has God revealed himself to you I've given you many examples and maybe some of those you can use as uh, your answer if he has revealed to you, himself to you through um, through music or through words through the Bible through reading about his son Jesus or through other ways like you know some people say that they have got to, gotten to know God through dreams some people dream uh, God reveals himself to them through dreams and that's also legitimate not everyone gets that or some people might have heard a voice they may believe it's God's voice um, some people might believe like uh, God has spoken to them through an angel which also is you know uh, legitimate I believe in most cases the Bible does talk about God speaking through angels and God even speaking through a donkey in the Old Testament God can use different ways to talk to us and reveal himself to us and ultimately my main thing is that uh, if God really did reveal himself to you your life will be change you would um, uh, basically a good example is that you will bear fruit that is uh, corresponding to the revelation if God has revealed himself to you you would respond in like manner right so some people when God reveals himself to them they just become so weak and they fall they fall to their, to their knees or they just fall flat prostrate before God um, there are many many examples in the Bible where right? when God reveals himself to them they they uh, uh, you know they, they react in different ways right so um, and, and even not just humans but when God reveals himself to like demons uh, in, in the Gospels we read um, Mark and the other Gospels when Jesus came to this uh, place and there were a lot of demons there in this person this one person um and jesus cast the demons out and they actually said you know don't just send us back to hell or to the pit um send us into those pigs the swines right and jesus did he's like okay go 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 uh go inhabit those swine instead and when they did they jumped out of the man they went into the pigs the swine the hogs uh, the, and, uh, and then they just all ran um, over the cliff <laughs> and they all died so uh, you know demons respond to God differently angels respond to God differently we respond to God differently God reveals himself to each of us whether we are angels we're not, we're not I mean God reveals himself differently to different beings and up and creatures so he reveals himself to angels differently right god reveals himself to humans differently and he reveals himself to um obviously um angels and fallen angels differently um so let us explore tomorrow let us explore more about how God reveals himself to us and then we're going to uh, we're going to ask and answer the question how can we know God in the next section after this so I hope you um, are ready and if you have not watched the other videos I really 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 suggest and recommend strongly suggest and strongly recommend that you listen and watch all the other videos before this this one because this section is very very important every every section is very important but you need foundation 
in order to move on to this section right so if you have not uh, watched the videos about is God there uh, where is God how can we know God um, and why is God so difficult to find then go watch the previous videos we are like kind of like in the halfway point right now and so you did not miss too much and the videos are not too long I try to keep them as short as possible <coughs> But they are foundational for this and future videos so it's all chronological order and i put it in a playlist so go check it out and tomorrow please come back for you know the actual meat and content about how god reveals himself to us and how god reveals himself to the world so i look forward to seeing you tomorrow bright and early at 6 a.m or after that when the video is posted, I'll post the video at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'll see you tomorrow. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, first of all, make sure you watch all the previous videos because I might have answered the questions already. And if there's a question I have not answered or something you want to ask or comment about or suggest or recommend, um yeah do that in the comment section that's what it's for i'll try to get to it as soon as possible sometimes i don't because i'm doing this july 2020 challenge and i'm doing like 200 plus videos i may not get to all the comments right now but if you're watching this after july 2020 uh, i should have more time to look at the comments and respond accordingly and i love to you know hear from you so please comment and also subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when I post a new video which I going to post a new one every day in this uh, series and other topics I'm talking about I'm making seven videos a day uh, on different topics seven different topics a day and I yeah just please like please like this video please share it with your friends subscribe hit the bell and comment very importantly comment and i'll see you tomorrow thank you so much i really appreciate you and thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel i'll see you tomorrow okay see you tomorrow thank you